A good Friday evening, Gulf Coast. I'm Chief Meteorologist Ed Bloodsworth with WKRG News 5, and we are now weather aware tonight as we are going to carry a risk of strong to severe thunderstorms through the night into the day on Saturday. Let's show you what's happening right now. We're still in this sort of lull period where we're awaiting the next batch of showers and thunderstorms, but when we zoom out the picture, you notice we've got more rain and storms developing out in the Gulf of Mexico, and uh, this batch is not being well resolved by our current forecast forecast models so uh, but with this forming the storm prediction center has uh, certainly looked at this and they're paying attention to it and so are we and we are going to carry a risk of severe weather now off to the west there are already some strong thunderstorms developing along the Louisiana Gulf Coast so what we have in place is a, a warm front, what we call a marine warm front. It is sitting just off the coast. And now there's some indications that this warm front may try to lift north into our uh, counties there in northwest Florida, lower Alabama, and southeast Mississippi. That could set the stage for some severe weather. So the Storm Prediction Center has uh, placed a level one severe weather risk in green for most of our zones, which includes our inland areas along Highway 84. But just this evening, they have upgraded areas closer to I-10 around Mobile Bay and closer to the coast up to a level two out of five severe weather risks. So what this means, again, if you're unfamiliar with our severe weather risk scale, this we've now gone from a level one to a level two for the southern half of our area. This means scattered severe thunderstorms are possible, and this would mean damaging winds. Don't think hail is gonna be an issue with this uh, threat tonight, but a couple of tornadoes cannot be ruled out based off of the current setup. So here's how we think this will end up. I actually think the storm risk will start up a little bit earlier than our model suggests. So maybe as early as 10 p.m. as that initial batch of thunderstorms starts to roll its way through. What you're seeing there by midnight tonight is that storm cluster out to the west over Louisiana being picked up, moving through Louisiana, basically along I-10. But even by midnight, I think we will still already have showers and thunderstorms in the area, especially along I-10, and we'll be watching as storms come off the coast. But bottom line, it's gonna be a stormy period, especially from 10 p.m. tonight all the way through about 8 a.m. tomorrow. That's when the main batch of thunderstorms will slide through, and that batch, again, will contain the risk of severe weather. Not only some winds and possibly a few tornadoes, but also some very heavy downpours. We're talking about some heavy rain. After that moves through, there's some question marks after that regarding how much rain we have through Saturday, but I do think there will be some scattered storms that will continue through midday and perhaps into the afternoon. So a bit of an unusual severe weather timing here. So the area in yellow I wanna focus on, I think you're most likely to be impacted by the storms coming in from the west out of Louisiana, out of Mississippi. So your severe weather window for areas like Leakesville, Chatham, Grove Hill, Coffeyville, Thomasville, Monroeville, your severe weather window is going to start later and it's going to end earlier. So we think from midnight to 5 a.m. Now, if you're in the orange shaded area, your severe weather threat actually starts earlier because we also have those storms coming out of the Gulf of Mexico. So from 10 p.m. till 6 a.m. for areas like Mobile, Theodore, Grand Bay, Calvert, Atmore, Evergreen, uh, Bruton, Loosedale, Mississippi, Pascagoula, Dauphin Island. Then we look into South Baldwin County and areas to the east. So Fairhope, Gulf Shores, Foley, Pensacola, Navarre, Fort Walton Beach, Milton, Molino, Crestview, Jay, Destin, Florida. Your severe weather window runs from midnight through 8 a.m. That's our best guess in terms of the when you'll have to really pay close attention during this uh, overnight period and as we move into tomorrow morning as well. Again, the overall risks with this event will be isolated tornadoes, especially when that uh, slight risk, that yellow shaded area that we showed you earlier, and the risk of some damaging wind gusts in the 50 to 60 miles per hour. Now, I wanna mention with this, that this threat is what we call conditional. A lot of things are have to come together to get these severe thunderstorms, but it appears that the chance is there, so we have to pay attention to it. We're also gonna have a flood risk tonight. Uh, we could see some areas pick up one to three inches of rain uh, from the storms tonight, and some isolated spots could exceed that, maybe getting into the four to five inch range. I know we've been asking for rain, getting too much of it too quickly though could lead some localized flooding. Bottom line, gonna be a stormy night for us and a stormy Saturday from the Gulf Coast Download the WKRG weather app for free today. You can uh, set the locations and the alert settings so it will wake you up in the middle of the night. And if you don't have a mobile device like that, you can also have a NOAA weather radio. Make sure it is in alert mode before you go to bed tonight.